How did we get here? There's a particularly vexing bug that I mentioned in my previous video, which prompted me to delay my seed showcase videos for a bit. Three quarters of the seeds I'd be showcasing will be broken. Anyway, nobody should be upgrading or generating a new world until at least 1.13.1, or probably a lot later. This does give me a chance to continue my discussion on structure generation, at least in the context of this bug, and it gives me some time to find some more cool seeds. Also, please forgive my rant at the end about software development. So, back to our illustration of chunks and regions. You can say that Minecraft chooses a random chunk within a region and then generates the structure there, but in the actual implementation, you have to do that sort of backwards. The game doesn't generate and populate whole regions at a time, it generates the world one chunk at a time. Instead, during world population, each chunk has to first determine what region it's in, then find the random location in that region, then check if it's the randomly chosen chunk. To do that, you need a formula to convert from chunk to region. Let's say you're generating ocean ruins. The region size is 16 by 16. And let's say you're chunk 19.3. You can just divide by 16 and get one zero, right? It's integer math, so it rounds down. Actually, in Java, the division operator used on integers isn't flooring division. It rounds towards zero. Take for instance chunk minus 11 minus 10. You divide by 16 and get rounded up to zero zero, which is wrong. It should be region minus one minus one. To fix that, you could have a true flooring division function, which rounds down, or you could treat negative numbers as a special case. Minecraft does the latter. Here's some pseudocode for Minecraft 1.12.2 and older. And here's how it looks in 1.13 since snapshot 18w06a. Spot the problem? This is a bug that any good programmer could write. If you've ever written software, you've written a bug like this, many times. It would be pretty hard to spot this in a code review and you almost certainly wouldn't notice in manual testing of the game, even though the consequences are serious. That's why I think this is a good bug to rant about. Not because I want to pick on Mojang developers or create hate, but because I think it's a great illustration of a problem with our industry. Do you see it yet? It's accidentally inverting the sign of the one because it's using minus equals in the old code. It creates a nasty off by two error. What does this actually do? Well, let's say you're in region minus one zero and the RNG rolls one one. So your lucky chunk is supposed to be minus 15, one. When that chunk checks itself, the new formula is going to give you an adjusted chunk value of minus 32, one, which divided by 16 gives minus two zero for the region. But hold on a second, this was supposed to be region minus one zero. A few lines later, it computes the chunk in which to place the structure. So it's going to select a chunk that's in the wrong region. Poor chunk minus 15, one gets the shaft. In fact, anytime you're west of 00, zero no structures can generate in the western two chunks of each region. If you're north, the two northern chunks are off limits. If you're north and west, you lose both. This affects the new 1.13 structures the most because they have the smallest spawnable area. More than 50% of shipwrecks in the northwest quadrant of the map will be missing. Three of the structures in a quad witch hut formation must be in the first two chunks of a region in either the X or Z direction. This ends up removing two or three huts from formations in negative coordinates. The fix for the bug is simple. Just flip a minus to a plus or use math.floridiv. The bug was fixed in pre-release four and all was well, until it came back in pre-release seven. And I didn't spot it until the night before the 1.13 release. Oops, I guess that's on me. Anyhow, it's fixed again, but the fix won't be in your hands until 1.13.1. There are lots of innocent reasons for a regression like this, particularly in a large code base with lots of people working on it, and with people rushing to meet a deadline. But the regression could have been prevented with a simple unit test. It's easy to write a test for a function like this. It's a simple, comprehensible computation, and the special cases and edge cases are obvious. But so few people write tests, even when it's easy. Why is it not standard practice at every company? Tests really do prevent bugs, and they save so much time and energy. Our industry has basically no standard for code quality, unless you're working on software for medical devices or space probes or something. We hardly even know how to measure quality. It's not that important for a game, but it's important for our industry. Until we hold ourselves to a higher standard of professionalism, we should stop calling ourselves engineers. Anyhow, now that I've gotten that off my chest, your regularly scheduled Minecraft will resume in the next video.